morning, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday morning here. We are uh, on the truck hunt. We are headed to Columbia, Missouri. Um, we're going to go down and look at a 2003 Peterbilt 379. Um, it's caught my attention here for a while, and just want to go take a look at it. Uh, really haven't, like I said, looked... Well, like I told you yesterday, I haven't looked at anything other than, you know, truck paper or Facebook, whatever. I haven't actually gone and physically looked at anything. So I figured I better get doing that. Um, and, you know, I guess have my eye on something. So, uh, we're going to look at this one today. Like I said, I don't really intend on making a deal um, today. Now, if it's the right deal and I really like the truck, sure, fine. I'll, I'll wheel and deal. But uh, I still really want to look at this Louisiana truck. Uh, I got a little update on it. Uh, like I said, he got held up trucking uh, himself. So instead of trying to rush myself and rush him to uh, get down there and get everything taken care of, um, I'm just going to meet him with him Monday. Uh, so I'll either fly down on Sunday, Monday, somewhere around there, or, uh, sorry, coming up to stop sign here. I will uh, try to get a load with my other truck and into the Louisiana area somewhere. Uh, there, I had one offered last week, if I could have made it down, that got to within about an hour and a half of um, this guy's house. So... If we can get somewhere down around there, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to jump a plane, fly down, check the truck out. I guess I'll either buy it or I won't. So, anyway, that's a little update. Uh, we are en route to Columbia right now. Uh, we are just about into Missouri here. We're kind of shooting down some back county roads and um, trying to make good time and take the scenic route. So... We will talk to you when we get to mid... Uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you when I can learn to talk. We'll talk to you when we get down to Columbia and look at this truck. So, stay tuned.
Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is quarter after 12 here on Thursday. Uh, we've arrived at Midmo Equipment in Kingdom City, Missouri here. Um, there's a particular Peterbilt I want to look at here, and uh, I'm going to check that out and see what we think of that. Um, keep you updated on that. But real quick, um, if you guys know anything about some show trucks from back five or six years ago, this unit right back here, uh, if you can see that, that was one of the uh, the top show rigs on the circuit there for three or four years, and it kind of disappeared. And this is the second time in the last year that I've seen it, and it is in poor shape. Um, very unfortunate to see what's become of it, but is what it is um so we'll try to get some video footage of the truck i want to look at in this particular truck over here and uh yeah we'll see what happens and go from there so talk to you guys here in a little bit good afternoon everybody uh it's tuesday 4 20. I'm not into that kind of thing, but uh, seems to be pretty popular on the social media, so I'm coming to you from the house. Uh, we are going here on week two of looking for a truck. It's not going very well. <laughs> um, I went and looked at one last Thursday in Columbia, Missouri. I the the truck the truck I went to look at has been for had been for sale and is still for sale uh, for a long time. I thought that maybe and switch hands here uh, maybe it was just kind of a fluke deal you know it's kind of an older truck kind of higher asking price. I thought maybe you know nobody could get financed on it whatever. Um, long story short, I know. Like I said, it's almost a week afterward. Uh, I haven't shot any video yet of it, or uh, between now and then, but uh, I just was not impressed with the truck. Uh, there were quite a few issues with the truck for the price that uh, they were asking. I felt like it was pretty, pretty poorly represented. Um, in my opinion, it just was not turnkey. There, there was some, uh, there were some braking issues. Um, I, you know, not really bad mouthing anybody. That's not what I'm here for. But I just, long story short, I just felt like it was, it needed too much work for the price they were asking. So I politely declined and went on my way. And um, like I said, I'm, that's the end of that. I'm not here to bad mouth anybody. But uh, it was a good looking truck. I uh, just needed a few things more than I wanted to do. Uh I am working on a truck in Louisiana, and I got sidetracked because here comes a truck. All right. One track mine. <laughs> I could hear him coming. I knew he was coming. I just didn't know who or what or how big it was going to be. Um, that's like the... That's the first chemical truck I've seen all day, but it is that time of year fertilizer season. Uh, contrary to what we had yesterday, we did actually have snow at home here. Nothing stuck, but I mean, you know, it's cold enough um, to, uh, yeah, make it look nasty, anyways. So, that being said, um, I'll go ahead and include a picture of the truck that I looked at uh, right here. So now that you've seen that picture of the truck, like I said, I'm not gonna, just, I'm not gonna say any names. I'm not gonna bound mouth nobody. Um, you know, it's not, it's not what I'm about. But uh, that's the truck. Um, it'll be right for the right buyer. I just wasn't the right buyer. So 
that being said going back to the truck in Louisiana I am trying to work a deal on that uh, it's kind of gotten drug out here um, I was supposed to fly down actually yesterday go look at it um, but there's been a few issues so it looks like that uh, it's gonna get put pushed back um, if not called off entirely I, I don't know yet so if you know of anybody like I said uh, I mean my budget's pretty open I've had a lot of people send me trucks that are clean, they're nice. The used truck market is absolutely crazy right now. I don't know that I can really justify spending sixty, seventy thousand on a truck that's probably gonna need an overhaul in two or three hundred thousand. Maybe less. I maybe less, maybe more, I don't know. That's just kind of my outlook on it. I, I don't know that that's the route I really want to go, but it may be the route I have to go. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but if you know anybody that's got a really nice Peterbilt or even the right W900, send them my way. I'd be happy to look. Um, like I said, my budget's pretty open. I know the truck market's crazy, and prices crazy i mean but when i when i find the right truck i'll know and be a match made in heaven i guess so all that being said all that aside the reason i'm outside here is i wanted to show you the two cutest dogs in the whole world <laughs> but um i'm kind of trying to be a handyman since i'm home try to help the wife uh, do some things that obviously she can't normally do um my first project of the day, which I've kind of stalled out on because I can't find anything to reprotect the side of the house. Uh, some of the skirting, we'll call it. Uh, I not a carpenter, um, but there was a gigantic, and I mean a gigantic bird nest, and I will show that to you. I mean, I think I had an eagle living <laughs> in the side of my house, but you can see all the. Like I said, we'll call this skirting. I, I really don't know what it is. But uh, all up and through here, uh, the nest was right up in here. But it had, this had all been sagging for a while. I knew that it needed tended to. And, um, I mean, you can clearly see we have evidence here of birds or an upset child, one of the two. <laughs> but um, I knew I was going to need to do something with it. And I just really haven't had the time. And this is the price that I pay for it. So it's my fault. But got to find something to put up there to protect that, to keep the birds from getting in. And uh, then we'll go from there on that project. Side note, two of the cutest dogs you've ever seen in the world. Right here, once again, blue dog is Luther. Fl or reflective dog, this is Diesel. This will be, uh, he's supposed to be the trucking dog. Hence the name Diesel, but we'll see. Um, my tulips are blooming, by the way. Who doesn't love a blooming tulip? I mean, those ones over there have yet to bloom. There's one coming up there. Um, last year, my wife and I, when we first moved in here, uh, like I said, we don't own the house. We rent. We did spend a whole bunch of money, as you can see here. Uh, this was all on us. Uh, we did mulch all the way around the house. I, that's another thing I need to do. It's a little chilly yet, um, but I'd like to go spray, uh, start pulling some weeds, get it cleaned up, and we'll plant uh, some perennial, perennials, uh, which are flowers that obviously won't come back every year, but they look pretty, so that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, that's all rubberized mulch. It's actually tires that they chop up, and then they paint it to look like mulch. Um, it was actually cheaper than regular mulch, it's supposed to last longer so we'll find out so um got more tulips that are going to be coming in up here and uh you know those will bloom here shortly and so will those ones and uh this is my bicycle here right here i uh I ride that on the weekends and then of course oh wait sorry i got that confused no <laughs> but yeah you know i don't have a garage so all of my uh 
shed stuff and everything shed all that stuff sits here these are actually cowl panels uh, for the Peterbilt um, probably just junk those just because I've got new drop panels and stuff um, all that is going to be going to paint this week new fenders are coming up they are in Kansas City right now on their way to my buddy's paint shop in Villisca, Iowa uh, probably be painted and hopefully on the truck by we're going to say m m first week of May um, fingers crossed so anyway uh, another little project of mine I've done today is I had to put a new handle on the uh, screen door there don't mind the fact that it's kind of squeaky but uh, excuse me we have a new handle so now my door hopefully won't blow open when the wind blows so and there's some garbage to take out oh quick little side note here for you uh this rim is a junk rim obviously which is why it's here i'd like to build a fireplace out of it or a fire pit um this was actually off of my red 2005 x model if you guys remember that from uh, one of my earlier videos um i hit a deer last february with it so it's actually been over a year now and it didn't do a lot of damage to i mean didn't damage the hood it busted a fender i replaced the fender um, but i had an american eagle bumper and it took the bumper and it pushed the bumper into my steer tire and uh 65 mile an hour you know i mean not that speed had anything to do with it, but the sharp edge of that bumper came in and it actually blew my steer tire out. And um, I didn't, you know, 65 mile an hour, I couldn't get pulled over. So it blew it off, blew, blew out the tire. The tire came over uh, towards the driver's side. So it was off the bead and everything. So it was down on the rim. So I actually uh, wore the bead down on the rim. So the rim was junk. And uh, the truck had to sit for like, I don't know, seven or eight hours on the side of the road before I could, uh, um, yeah, get a you know service truck out there, get a new tire, rim, everything put on it on the way. So that's my little memento uh, of, that was actually my first steer tire blowout my whole career. Uh, blown a lot of tires, but never a steer tire. And uh, so I kept that rim just kind of as a memento. I'd like to dig a fire pit someday and kind of try to make something out of it but uh, like I said we don't own the house I don't anticipate staying here forever um, hopefully eventually I'll buy a house so I'd hate to do it here and then not be able to take it with me so for right now it's just over there holding that side of the house down um, so the wind doesn't blow it but <laughs> anyway um, I know I'm going on here and this is just just uh, to get a video put out there for you guys so you guys know that uh, I'm still here and I'm still well um, we're just looking for a truck and we want to buy the right truck so we don't have to sell another truck for a while um, but anyway I wanted to point or um, uh, how do I want to say it my driver called me and he told me that he got called out on the CB thinking that it was me <laughs> somebody passed him today um, I believe on I-35 south of Des Moines and asked if it was me and uh, uh, oh I guess kind of a shout out if you will so that means that somebody's paying attention <laughs> and I appreciate that very much um, but no that uh, that is my driver's name is Zach by the way so if you see the truck from now on his name is Zach uh, feel free to holler at him on the radio. Super, super cool kid. Um, tickled stink. I mean, like I said, if, if I could have... I don't think I could have laid down and wrote my prayers out on a, on a notepad and uh, lucked out like I have so far. Great kid, hard worker, um, doing a great job. Just absolutely tickled to death to have him here, and I hope I can keep him for a long time. So... Uh, he is driving the Green Peterbilt. His name is Zach. Like I said, super cool kid. He's always got the squawk box on 19. Uh, there's plenty of heat in the box, too. Because um, that's my big uh, striker radio still in the truck. So he, 
uh, you should be able to strike up a conversation and talk to him for quite a long ways. So give him a shout if you see him running around. And uh, as always, I appreciate all you guys watching and checking in with me. I'm real sorry, like I said, that my channel's trucking based and it hasn't been trucking stuff lately. Um, you know, I don't want a home improvement channel. That's not what I'm about. And that's why I'm pretty silent. Hopefully, 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 by the end of this week, first to next week, I will have something figured out. Um, once I do get a truck bought, it will not take long at all to get the truck on the road. Um, I just, you know, transferred the plate from one truck to another, and I'm gone. Um, actually, Zach, his dad actually has a vinyl business, so his, they do all my lettering for my trucks. Um, so all my templates and everything are on file. I just got to spit out the color that I want, put it on the truck, and I'm gone. Um, so hopefully, like I said, end of this week, first of next week, we'll have it figured out. But uh, sorry for rambling on so long here. Uh, I just, like I said, wanted to give you an update. I am alive. I am well. Um, well I don't know if I'm well, but I'm alive. Um, hunting for trucks. Doing husband duties. And uh, enjoying some time at home. It's not been bad. So with that being said... I'm going to go. I've got to go pick up my daughter. Uh, i got to go get another kennel for the dogs and continue my list of chores to do at home. So thanks for checking in, guys, with me so much. Um, have a great one. Have a blessed one. Be safe. Catch you on the flip side.